This is the biggest battery test we have ever done on the channel, with six of the world's best Android flagships all competing for the title of Phonebuff Style Battery Champ, where we have the most popular Android flagship in the Galaxy S25 Ultra, we have Google's own Pixel 9 Pro XL, we have the current Champ which dethroned the iPhone in the Oppo Find X8 Pro, there's its close relative in the OnePlus 13, there's Honor's Magic 7 Pro, and then the Camera Beast in Vivo's X200 Pro, bringing us to six phones, three completely different SoCs with room for only one champ. Let's get right into it. All right, we'll kick things off in the phone test, where each device is going on the same one hour call. We have constant audio playing back on the other end of the calls to make sure that we're taxing those earpieces, and each phone is being tested within equal distance of our mini cell tower, where after an hour, only the Galaxy and the Pixel show any kind of drop in terms of battery percentage, with the other four somehow still reporting 100%. Now, obviously, this can't be exactly right since they had to have used some battery for that call, so we'll see how things go here in messaging, where we have our robots texting back and forth with a automated chatbot, where an hour of this later, this time we get some separation. The Vivo X200 Pro only drained by 3% in that messaging test, allowing it to pull ahead of the pack, while the current champ in the Oppo is right there behind it in second. Now, it's worth noting that we've calibrated the displays on each phone here to 200 nits, so everything is going to be nice and fair, where after an hour of scrolling through the same set of emails, they all did pretty well. Only draining by either 4 or 5%. But it's this browser test that I've been looking forward to, since it's the most CPU intensive task that we've done so far. And you know, given that we have three different SOCs or chipsets, it's going to be interesting to see if one of them can prove to be more efficient. But after an hour of randomly launching through the same set of websites and scrolling through them, it's a little bit of a mixed bag. The Pixel and its Tensor G4 did the worst here, using an estimated 506 milliamp hours of its capacity, while the Oppo and its Dimensity chip did the best, only using an estimated 354 milliamp hours. However, because there was some back and forth between the other MediaTek chip and the Snapdragon phones, I think there's just too many variables to draw any kind of real conclusions, at least specific to the chipset. But in terms of the entire systems though, the Vivo and the Oppo are clearly pulling ahead of the pack, which outside of them having that MediaTek chip in common, the other big similarity is they both have the lowest native resolutions, pushing around 3.5 million pixels in total compared to the 4.5 million total pixels on phones like the OnePlus and Galaxy, which another hour into this battery test could in part explain some of the deltas that we're seeing. But either way, I think all of these phones are doing pretty well so far as we head into standby, where after sitting there with their screens off for 60 16 hours straight, this time the Galaxy does the best, slotting it up from 5th place up to 4th, overtaking the Magic 7 Pro in the process. Now, it is worth noting that we're testing the European variant of the Magic 7 Pro, which has that smaller 5270 milliamp hour unit compared to the bigger 5850 milliamp hour unit you get on the global one. So, depending on your region, you might get better results. Either way, here in YouTube, we've calibrated the speakers on each phone in addition to their screens, where after binge watching some really old phone buff videos for an hour, nothing really happened. They all kind of drained by the same amount by either 7 or 8%, except for the Pixel, which dropped by 10 points, which unfortunately places it even further behind the rest of the pack. Here in gaming, we're not playing anything too intensive, it's just Alto's Adventure, where our robots are actually tapping on the screen every few seconds to actively play the game where 60 minutes later, the little differences are starting to add up. The Oppo Find X8 Pro is clearly showing us why it's the champ right now, pulling another point ahead of the Vivo, which is in second place, and then a whopping 16 points ahead of the Pixel in last. Here in this maps test, we're simulating navigation as best as we can, where we have the phone actively seeking traffic information, things like the GPS and compass are turned on, and we're also scrolling through the maps in order to get the maps moving, where one hour later, 
it is more of the same. The Galaxy and the Honor keep going back and forth with each other, while the rest of the phones have kind of kept their relative positions, with the Oppo in first, the Vivo in second, and the OnePlus 13 in third. Which is interesting. I was really curious to see how the OnePlus would do relative to the Oppo, since they do share the same parent company. But whether it's the extra resolution on the OnePlus or the Snapdragon 8 Elite versus the MediaTek, the Oppo has continually outperformed. But we are now in the later stages of this test, and it looks like it's ultimately gonna come down to two phones. It's either gonna be the current champ that wins in the Oppo Find X8 Pro, or it'll be the Vivo X200 Pro. And after an hour of the super intensive Snapchat test, the Oppo is starting to pull away, with it now three points ahead of the second place Vivo, while having nearly double the Galaxy's battery and over triple the pixels. Of course, any phone that makes it to this app cycle test though has a great battery in my book. I mean, it was just a few years ago that no phone could reach this stage. So to see six out of these six Android phones get here tells you how far we've come. At the same time though, I wanna see how these flagship phones stack up, where maybe it's because of its Tensor chip or its smaller battery, but the Pixel only lasts 46 minutes into app cycle, officially slotting it in the last place. For fifth place, it looks like it's either gonna be the Galaxy or the Honor, they have been going back and forth, but after an hour and 50 minutes into app cycle, it's the Galaxy that calls it quits, which officially knocks two of the two phones that don't have silicon carbon batteries out of the race. The Honor is just barely hanging on though with 1%, but that 1% goes for 15 minutes, getting it past the two hour mark at two hours and five minutes, officially ranking it in fourth. It looks like the OnePlus 13 is gonna end up being next here with it having just 2%, which ends up lasting it another 18 minutes, officially placing it in third place. Meaning we are down to the last two phones with the current champ, which has a three point advantage and the Vivo X200 Pro, which has kind of surprised me a bit. This phone obviously made some waves because of his camera, but so far it's actually really impressed me in this battery test where the X8 Pro ends up dying first at the three hour and 18 minute mark, meaning we officially have a new champ in the Vivo X200 Pro. It's just at 2% right now, so it's not gonna last forever, but I wanna see if it could get to that four hour mark where it comes up just short, dying at three hours and 56 minutes into app cycle. This is absolutely insane and an incredible result from Vivo. But there you go, six phones, three different SOCs, and one champ. Anyways, that is it for me in this video. Thank you for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the very next episode.